Hi, I'm Dennis Jess. Welcome back to my channel. This is where we talk about all things health related, mouth related, and what we can do to help keep our mouths as healthy as possible. Today, we are going to talk about something I get asked all the time. Doc, why do I need to have x-rays taken? I just had them done like six months ago. What's the point of it? I really need it. And so today I wanna to tell you the reasons why we take x-rays. What's the point of it? Why do we need to get them done? And why do we get them done at different intervals for different times? So the main reason that we take x-rays is because we don't have x-ray vision, but I'm bumped. Just kidding, but not really. We actually do need to be able to see through things. That's why we take the x-ray, so we can see through the teeth, see through the bones, see if there's anything going on. And unfortunately, I wasn't born with x-ray vision. Neither was your dentist, most likely. And if they were, I'd be a little concerned. Um, so that's why we take x-rays. That's kind of the main point for them. So there's 12 reasons that we take x-rays. I know 12 sounds like a lot, but I promise we'll go through them pretty quick. The other thing that I want to mention is that the benefit to having x-rays taken is that a lot of the time it allows us to see things early on, which in the end is going to save you a lot of money, it's going to save you a lot of pain or discomfort down the road, and it possibly could actually save your life. All right, out of those 12 reasons, reason number one, the first reason, which is probably the most obvious that we take x-rays, is to see tooth decay. So lots of the times that we have old fillings done, we can't really see through the fillings, so we need to be able to see underneath it, we use an x-ray. Or where our teeth are touching together, right where they contact together, we actually can't see that visually um, when we do our checkup in the mouth. So we need to be able to see through that. It's one of the most common sites to get a cavity. So being able to look through that with an x-ray allows us to see spots where we have cavities or decay forming. Reason number two, cracked teeth cracked or fractured teeth. Sometimes we can see it in the mouth, sometimes we can see a little part of the tooth that's fractured off. That's okay, but anytime that there is something that goes further down, maybe into the root, um, we have to take an x-ray to be able to see it. So if your tooth is cracked, we need an x-ray. Reason number three, you might have damage that's happening actually in your gums or in the structures surrounding your teeth, in the bone, um, leading to a cyst or even a possible infection in the gums or bone. We can see that with an x-ray. Um, it allows us to see structures we can't see with our eyes normally. So yeah, damage from an infection or cyst is reason number three. Reason number four is periodontal disease. So lots of the time with periodontal disease, which I will talk about in another video, we get bone loss and the x-ray actually allows us to see the bone loss and we can kind of track it. So if we take x-rays over a period of time, we can actually follow the bone levels and see if you're losing bone over time. Reason number five, is developmental defects or abnormalities. So a lot of the time we can have different things that are developmental that we actually can't see by just doing a quick exam. We need to take an x-ray to be able to find it. Reason number six, and this one's an important one, is tumors or cancer. A lot of the time things can look normal when we do a quick look at, at the mouth. We can't see things underneath. We can't see things in your sinuses. We can't see things in the jawbone. Uh, but a lot of the common spots for, for cancer and for tumors are actually in our jawbone. So we need to be able to take an x-ray to see them. Uh, it's one of those things, cancer, that early detection is key. If you catch it early on, there's a way higher chance that you will be able to survive. If not, and you leave it for too long, I mean, I said x-rays can help save your life. And this is one of those cases where it really can. Number seven. The old seven is traumatic lesions. So if you've had any trauma done, whether you cracked a tooth, whether you cracked the alveolar bone holding the teeth, whether there's an infection, whether whatever it is, you got hit and we just need to see what's going on. Uh, we need to take an x-ray. It's the same thing when you break your wrist. We need to see what's happening. If you actually broke your wrist, they send you for an x-ray. It's the same kind of thing. So if you've had trauma, lots of times we use those x-rays to be able to diagnose the actual problem so that we can treat it appropriately. Number eight is for those unerupted teeth. Both kids and adults, more common in kids because we're getting our teeth, but both children and adults can actually have unerupted teeth. So taking an x-ray first lets us know that they're there, and second lets us be able to see where the placement is, whether we can pull them up and get them erupted, or maybe they need to be removed, or maybe they're not causing any harm and we're just kind of keeping an eye on them. But we can't see them if we, and we don't know that they're there if we don't have an x-ray. Number nine, there we go, nine, is to detect teeth that might be coming in in the wrong spot. So if you, this is a, a 
especially important in teenagers and in kids as their teeth are starting to come in it's important to be able to see where they're coming in and make sure that they're coming in in the right spots if not maybe orthodontic treatment needs to be done or in some cases you might have to have a tooth removed but we need to be able to see that so we know how to plan for it number 10 if you lost a tooth, uh, we need to take an x-ray so that we can plan for implants. If you're thinking about getting implants, a lot of the times we have to do a little bit more advanced kind of x-rays to see the amount of bone and the placement of where the bone is and where the implant's going to go. So implant placement really does require x-rays and if you're looking about going that route, make sure that you're getting the full, the full workup done so that uh, your implant has the best chance of success it can. Number 11, I don't have enough fingers to do 11, so I'll do 11, is um, kind of linked with number 12 actually, and it's the ability to be able to detect some speech or airway problems. Now, not all of the x-rays that we take in the dental chair um, will help with this, but there are certain ones that we can take to help us to see it. So yeah, speech and airway problems are numbers 11 and 12. So that's it, that's why we take x-rays. It helps us see what's going on. It helps us to be able to take care of you better, to make sure that we can diagnose things properly and to make sure that you're gonna get the best care that you can get. Make sure to stay tuned for other videos. I'm gonna have a video talking about the different types of activities that we take and why we take them, as well as discussing the importance of having them done at certain intervals, depending on your risk for them, for getting decay or for disease. So yeah, make sure to check out, watch watch for those to come up. And yeah, if you have any questions, you know the, you know the drill. Make sure that you comment below, subscribe. What is it like? Hit the thumbs up. Ring the bell, there we go. <laughs> uh, and yeah, make sure that you comment. I'd love to hear back from you. So take care.